Hey guys, welcome to the Tire Series 7, and I'm reviewing this, which is the Marvel Legends series Warpath action figure, so this is pretty cool. This is from the Strong Guy Wave, we've got some awesome artwork of Warpath there. Then on the back, we have a picture and a bio, and let's open this up. So, here we have Warpath out of packaging, and you can probably tell just by looking at him, but this guy is massive. And I gotta say, Warpath has always been one of my favorite mutant characters. I think he's pretty cool. Um, Native American, which is pretty neat. My family actually has a lot of Native American descent. My grandmother's side, um, they were Native American on my dad's side, and then on my mom's side, there was also a lot of Native American in our family. So I always thought that was pretty cool. And you don't see a lot of Native American superheroes, too. So I always thought Warpath was one of the coolest ones. And this is based on his look in X-Force. It's pretty cool. I love how the symbol here kind of represents like an eagle or bird. I think that's pretty cool. I like how he's kind of got these fetters that go on his shoulders and then on his boots as well and then also the one back here. I just think that's pretty neat and I think they've captured the look of Warpath from the comic books perfectly and you know a lot of times they capture it perfectly but I think they've done a really good job here. I also like his belt. It's got some nice glossy red on it. He's got these gold bands. Uh, you can see the side of his arms. And again I like how they did this. It's uh, pretty cool. Kind of like tassels but I always I always think it's kind of neat. And I like how his shoulder pads are too. They're huge. And then again, you have the hair, which looks pretty good. The face with the mask, just looking awesome there. And he's also really muscular, really buff too. And that's exactly how he is in the comic book. So that's how you want a Warpath action figure to look like. I mean, he's called Warpath for a reason. He is the Warpath. And he just looks awesome here. I feel like they've really translated him well from screen, uh, uh, from the pages to the action figure form. I think they did a good job with that. And I also like the little crease and wrinkle in his shoes here. I think that's pretty cool. And yeah, just pretty neat. And in terms of articulation, for his size, he also does have a lot of articulation. He's got free six of the head. He can look up and down, free six of the arms, and swing out of the shoulder. The shoulder pads don't really hinder it because they're a separate piece. He also has butterfly joints, which are pretty cool. Yeah, 360 rotation there and double joint elbows, 360 the wrist and they're on hinges, 360 the torso. There's an ab crunch that goes really far back and forth. Let me zoom this back there so you can kind of see this a little bit better. But it goes really far back, so I like that. Not stiff. The legs forwards, backwards, and outwards. You got a 360 the thigh, double joint knees. The feet rotate 360 at the boot cut and the feet also move up and down and go side to side. So for his size, he's very well articulate isn't always the case with the bigger Marvel Legends, so I think that's pretty cool. You also get two pairs of gripped hands. Um, I think in some of his later appearances, like with X-Force and everything, he had like giant daggers or knives, so if you kind of prefer that look of him, you do get an alternate pair of hands to kind of give him that. Unfortunately, you don't get any weapons included with him, which would have been cool, but I do like that you get the grip hands in case you kind of want to do that um, yourself, and I think that's kind of cool. And here's a comparison really quickly with Beast, and as you can see, he's about the same height for Beast, but he might actually be a little bit bigger than Beast. It's kind of hard to tell, um, but they're around the same height, and Beast is a lot bigger than a regular sized one. Let's see if I've got Sunspot over here still. And uh, as you can see, he towers over his teammate and just looks awesome. Overall, I think this is a great action figure. I think they did a great job with him from bringing him to the comic and just making him look accurate, you know? I mean, he's awesome, he's buff, he's exactly how he should look, and he's just pretty cool. I also can't believe it took them this long to make this character again, you know? I mean, at least, like, not from this version, like, maybe some of his later versions. Either way, it's still pretty cool. And yeah, thanks for watching. Please rate, like, and subscribe.